Today we're down southeast of Lubbock, Texas, at a swine farm owned by the Lubbock Swine Breeders Incorporated. We're visiting with the executive vice president of the corporation and the manager of the farm, Yule Liner. And Yule, uh, how many head of hogs do you run here on this farm? Well, uh, we have uh, roughly, uh, most of the time, an inventory of around 2,800 uh, hogs, all sizes. Uh, we run uh, around 300 to 320 sows. And then we finish uh, the hogs uh, that we produce from those uh, sows. How large an area does this occupy? Uh, this, we have uh, 13 acres under fence for these hogs. Well, that means getting a pretty concentrated operation involved here. And we know that you've got a lot of hogs under these uh, roofs that are behind us, or uh, you wouldn't have that many hogs around. I wonder if you'd explain to us kind of how this operation works and what the procedure is in handling 2,800 hogs on 13 acres. Yes, from out here, it, uh, you don't see very many hogs from the outside. Now, in these buildings, the uh, buildings right here, uh, we have the uh, farrowing houses. We have four of these houses uh, that uh, contain uh, 18 farrowing crates, which means we farrow 18 sows in each one of these at a time. And uh, th these buildings are 25 by 54 in size. And uh, in these buildings we have uh, uh, heating and air conditioning. Heating, of course, in the wintertime and air conditioning in the uh, summer. We use an evaporative cooler here that you see on the end of these buildings uh, for cooling in the summertime. Now, we don't try to cool the entire building. We uh, just merely pipe the uh, uh, cool air down to the sow's nose, leave the doors open. How long do you keep these pigs in the farrowing barn? Well, we uh, we wean at uh, four to five weeks uh, of age now, and uh, they're kept in there until they are weaned. We and from this, there, where do they go? We go to a nursery. The building's just behind these. Uh, the nursery building's uh, the same size and about the same type of uh, construction. Now, in here, we don't, uh, we don't have uh, air conditioning. We do have uh, uh, heating for use in winter. And they're kept in the nursery how long? Well, we keep those pigs in the nursery until they weigh around 70 to uh, 80 pounds, and uh, that means roughly that they're in there five to six weeks uh, before we take them over to the finishing house, uh, which is the larger building just behind the uh, nursery here. We have uh, four of those and another one under construction right now, and these buildings, uh, these uh, finishing houses, will take care of uh, 200 to 210 uh, pigs each, so right on out to the time they're finished. And uh, do you keep any of your uh, pigs here for breeding purposes? Well, we uh, in the in the finishing houses, they're kept with the other pigs until uh, we uh, move them out on the ground. Uh, sometime about the time that we are uh, moving our first ones out to market from the finishing house. Now, the uh, the pigs that we take out on the ground are uh, some of them are taken down to the sow area, and then we have a, a place. Uh, other places here, they are taken out to the ground. We put them on the ground so they straighten up on their legs a little better. I wonder if we shouldn't go down to the sow area then and well, see what it looks like down there. Well, I think so. Uh, down there, I think this uh, would be a good place for us to go to. And down there, I would like to uh, uh, have Roy Pogue, my son-in-law, who actually makes this thing tick. I'd like for him to take over down here and show you this sow area that uh, we'll be coming to here. Fine. Let's go there. As we move down here to this uh, breeding hog unit, uh, we might ask Roy Pogue how it operates. Roy, just how does uh, the unit operate here as far as taking care of your breeding stock is concerned? Well, first of all, we move our sows down here into these pens when they've been bred about three weeks. And then we keep them here until we carry them back to the firing house. And while the, when we bring the sows down, we feed them three pounds a day. And we continue feeding this three pounds a day until the last 30 days of gestation. And the reason we do this is because if you overfeed a sow during the early part of the middle part of gestation, uh, some of the embryos will die, and you'll get smaller litters, and you'll get the pigs won't be as large if the sow's not fed right. Now, the last 30 days of gestation, we increase the feed to five or six pounds a day. We do this because uh, the pigs receive over 50% of their growth the last 30 days of gestation. And so we feel like the sow needs more feed in order to fully develop the pigs the last 30 days of gestation. Well, aside from your feeding program, which you seem to have well under control, are there any other special uh, points that you, uh, well, take care with in uh, handling these sows down here? 
Well, uh, of course, in the summertime, uh, Nelson, we use these uh, foggers. We have a plastic line that uh, pipes the water over to these houses, and we have a fogger in each house, and uh, we can turn them all on with one valve, and we'll turn them on early in the morning in the summertime and then turn them off in the evening when we leave. In this way, the sow stay cool. And then, of course, in the wintertime, we have an enclosed house, and if it's cold and the wind's blowing, they can get in inside uh, out from the cold. Well, it's obvious you have some very high-quality stock here. How long do you plan on keeping breeding stock when you get them here on the farm? Well, we have sows that are five years old, and uh, they're still producing. Now, how long they'll last, we don't know yet, but we figure we can keep them another year or two anyway. And our boars, uh, we feed these boars as little as two pounds a day. And the reason we do this, we like to keep them as long as we can. When we find a good one, we want to keep him as many years as we can. And the only way you can do that is keep his weight down. And they work better, and they'll work longer if you'll feed them just two or three pounds a day. Of course, when we're using the boar, we feed him all he'll eat. Mm -hmm. But when he's not working, we feed him two or three pounds a day. And we have boars that's five years old that we can still use on gilts. And your operation here is strictly SPF. Uh, uh, a disease-free operation, and how do you go about introducing new blood to your farm? Well, we've never bought anything else, uh, anything from anybody else's herd, uh, SPF herd. The way we do it, we find a proven sow and carry her to the laboratory and have her killed and bring the pigs back here from this sow, and that, that's the way we introduce new uh, bloodlines. So these pigs have never been on anybody else's farm when they come here? That's right. Everything we have here is either raised here or it came from the laboratory. We have what they call a primary SPF herd. And uh, that explains why I have to take my boots off when I come in here. That's right. And, that, and uh, the workers that work here, that we make them all change clothes before they go to work every morning. And when they go to home at night, they have to change back into their regular clothes. So we might say that any of you people planning to come down here and visit them, uh, be sure and knock on the door before you come in. Thanks a lot, Roy. Yes, sir.